Hello and welcome to 1909 Games. My name is Jan and I will show you how to set text in bold. So let's say you have a scene. Let's pretty quickly make a scene right here in Unity. It's just a normal project, so a 3D project, URP, but that doesn't really matter. I've installed Bolt. How to do that, you can see up there and there's a link in the description to the Unity Asset Store and there you can add Bolt to your assets. It's totally free and very good. And what else is totally free is to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't, do it. <laughs> so, but now let's create a scene. Uh, let's call it set text. So we know, okay, this is about setting text. It's nothing else and open it up. Oh, here I have a little bit changed so this is not a problem <laughs> so you see we have a main camera and the directional light just a normal scene okay so we right click here in the hierarchy and we want to create an object we want to create a canvas and on the canvas a text so what we can do is down here you see ui and text just add the text and you will see that three objects will appear here in our hierarchy the canvas the text which is a child of a canvas so a text alone doesn't work you always have to have a canvas and your objects or your ui as childs of them and then we have the event system and that's it you see we can now press buttons and so on with the event system but you know it's it's there so it automatically adds to the scene if you add a text so you don't have to really take care of that right now okay so now let's go to our game view down here or wherever you have it and you see the text is pretty pretty small but what we have right here for the ui you see up here we have all of our you know uh, rotation moving tools and so on and we have a rectangle tool what we can do is let's just drag it way bigger and more into the middle you see that is our canvas just right here one thing we need to change with our canvases. Let's go to canvas and we have the canvas scalar. And we want not to have a constant pixel size, but we want to have scale with screen size. So I have a 4K resolution here. So let's just quickly type in the resolution you need. And that's it for now. Okay, you see it's very small, the text. So what I want to do is I want to go to best fit. See that? It's getting bigger. But not really, it doesn't really fit the whole, you see that the whole box right here. Why is that? Because we have a max size of 40. So let's set this to 500 because we want a really big text right here. And if we drag it, you see it's getting bigger and it's stopping at 500. Okay, so let's just place it in the middle. It doesn't really matter right now. Okay, then I want to have an empty game object. So right click in the hierarchy and then empty object and let's call it set text. On the set text object, I want to add a component and that will be a, here you see it, bold flow machine. And let's make a new flow machine in our scenes folder. Here we go. Change text. That's it for now. Edit graph. So now we are here in our graph. So what we can do, you see down here, here we have the start function. We don't need it. And we have an update function. Okay, perfect. So what is the outcome that we want to have? We want to change the text. So right click in the middle field here somewhere and we want to set a text. So text set let's see what we have right here we don't want to set the font we just want really to set the text itself so text dot text set here we go but we don't want this to happen just in the beginning we just want that to happen if we press for example space so if you maybe have a conversation you can press space to go to the next text just as an example for that we want to add a get key down get key down and we want to choose this key right here and then we can on this menu right here set it to space for example where space we have space up here okay so this is what will happen every frame so every frame bold or unity is checking if we press space or not then we need a branch so add a unit branch a branch is a yes or no true or false we go on like this and we send the information if it is true or not okay and what we want to do now is we want just if it's true we want to set the text if it's false nothing will happen okay and it will set the text to let's say bye bye okay so that's it you can of course set it to whatever you like it's just a text so but it is not on the object itself because this is a separate game object what we need is we want to set in our scene. So let's go to our variables up here. In our scene, we will need a new game object. And that is the text object. And it's of type game object. So, and the value we will set that later. Okay, and it will here. Let's drag it out. Go to variables, scene, and let's get the text. That's it. Let's save this. 
and we can close it. So what we see right here is now we have the scene variables. And what we see right now is we have a new game object that is called scene variables. Let's click on it and you see we have our variable text that we just defined. It's of type null, so let's set it to game object. And the value is the text right here. So let's drag and drop it. And now let's save the whole scene and we press play. You see right here, new text. And if we now press space, it says bye bye. And that easy, you can set text in Unity with bow. I hope you liked this video. If you do, leave me a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. There are some links in the description you can check out for some courses I did. And I hope I see you the next time. Bye.